Hello viewers and welcome to this week's edition of Tech Tips. For this week's topic, we're going to go over how to place some blocking in the floors. The main two commands we're going to be needing today are going to be found under the tools. First one being the project bridging types to actually create our blocking. Second one will be under the marker lines to actually place our blocking. So let's get into the project bridging types. I've simply created a type here. I've given it a name and I've chosen it to be the blocking type. So what I have created is just a staggered two by eight blocking type it's going to appear in every bay, so the space between my joists. And I also have it to be in my first and last bay. If I wanted to remove it from my very last bay, I simply have to set this back to zero. Finally, my offset is at one and a half inches. We have our type created. We can say OK. We're grabbing the panel and we're going back to that tools to place these marker lines. From here, I can control how I want my blocking to be spaced. The two main options that we have for spacing is just to set it at a regular spacing. I'll just keep it continuous everything's going to be two feet off center. You can also align your lines to a benchmark. The next option we have to space our blocking members is to equally space them and give it a maximum distance to follow. So whatever the width is of my floor, I will equally space my lines with a given maximum three foot distance. So let's do it with the spacing. And then of course my last option is just to assign these bridging types. Once I'm done with that, I can say okay. And we can see I have my marker lines spaced two feet apart. To simply get my staggered blocking, I just have to regenerate the panel. You can see we have our blocking members staggered at one and a half inches. What's nice about placing blocking with model lines is if ever I didn't want blocking in a specific location, I just have to grab this model line, hit delete with my keyboard, and regenerate the panel. It'll remove that line of blocking from my panel. What's also nice about using marker lines in this case. I could always move these lines. Once I hit regenerate again with my panel, my blocking members will always follow the direction of my lines. 